Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. Good to be with you and uh, hope everybody's okay. I'm going to pray and uh, just talk about a few things and recommend a few books. So let's pray. Father, we come before you today and we acknowledge our sin. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, these three are one. Father, we bow before you now and Father, we ask that you bless this message and this sharing uh, to all our hearts, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I thought I'd just uh, touch base with you. Uh, I've got a few books that I want to recommend and just let you know what's happening. I've been on holiday with my parents in Morecambe in the caravan. You can see the scooter episode where I had to ride around the park on the scooter. Uh, I've been back for about uh, nearly a week and I've been cleaning the house out. Uh, cleaning my office and getting ready for things uh, for Ghana. I'll be leaving on the 10th of June. And don't forget, on the 2nd of June, I'll be uh, preaching, God willing, at CRM at Blakely Cemetery of Victoria Avenue on Sunday, 2nd of June. Um, so it's this Sunday coming. Uh, so I'll be there, God willing, and uh, if you want to say goodbye to me, so it's Blakely Cemetery. You go up Victoria Avenue from the uh, Heaton Park side. You turn right, first right into Blakely Cemetery as you go up Victoria Avenue. And there, the first chapel you see at the gates. Uh, the service is at half ten, so, and it's this Sunday. So if you want to say goodbye to me, and uh, you want uh, to see me and uh, I'll be there. So I just want to share a couple of thoughts. I um, was really blessed the other day. Um, oh, so yeah, so I, I've I've been uh, packing everything, getting every, everything ready to go to Ghana. I packed my lecture notes, I cleaned my office out, thrown a load of stuff away. Um, I had to get thing, buy things for what I need in Ghana etc so things are moving folks uh, I just want to share this with you it's uh, Philippians chapter 2 it says who being in the very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped but made himself nothing taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and came obedient to death even the death of the cross therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name so I just wanted to quote that because it's just a really good passage about leadership that the Lord Jesus was was God he thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself no reputation he became a servant a lot of people want to be big shots they want to be at the front they want to be noticed in the church but yet the Son of God humbled himself and became a servant. And if you're going to uh, go far in the kingdom of God, you've got to be willing to serve. If, you, if, you, if you're always pushing at the front, wanting to be the main person in the church, you don't know much about real Christianity because real Christianity is about serving. If you have a servant heart, then that is a leader's heart and God will promote you in his kingdom. Okay, it's just a little thought on leadership. Uh, so I, I want to recommend a few books. Um, so pray, please pray for me because when I get to Ghana, um, I'll be leading. I'll be getting involved with a, a, a crusade within a few days of me being there. Um, so helping a, a lovely brother in Christ uh, who's a, a pastor and just been uh, sent to a, a new church in a new field. So I'm going to be helping him for a couple of days, uh, Pastor Chris. Uh, but then we've got uh, at least 30, I think there's going to be about 40 students that have enrolled on the Grace of God Bible College and Theological Seminary, which I've been made the president. So within a week of me getting into Ghana, I've got lots of interviewing to do. So they fill their application forms in, but I've got to read their application and then interview all these prospective students. Uh, and then I've got to go through all my lecture notes, get my notes ready again when I get there. And then uh, and then a lot of other things. I've been living at the bishop's house for about uh, f 
four weeks but then I'll be moving into a house there so big things are changing uh, so and a lot's going to be happening as soon as I get there so I value uh, your prayers and support um, you can uh, support me on my website jasonburnspreacher.com email me from time to time I can send you a newsletter when I'm there uh, once a month so if you want to email me from my website I'll send you a uh, a newsletter once a month okay uh, and at the top of the YouTube channel and at the top of my website uh, social media things like patreon PayPal Amazon Teespring etc if you want to support me while I'm in Ghana or as I'm going to Ghana so I just want to recommend a few books while I was on holiday I read this book evangelism and the sovereignty of God by J.I. Packer and it, it's it's a real classic now J.R. Packer um, in his el in his old age uh, it's kind of got a little got, got ecumenical so I don't agree with that but he's wrote some great classics and one of the great classics is Evangelism and Sovereignty God it, it, I would recommend it reading J.R. Packer is like riding an elephant if you're riding an elephant it's slow and it's weighty and it's majestic. Reading Packer is like riding an elephant. Slow, weighty and majestic. Every book that he writes. And this book uh, goes into uh, freedom of the will and sovereignty of God. And, and talks about there are mystery. And then he goes on to talk about the importance of the message in evangelism. Rather than uh, just technique. And then he talks about method. And he gives some really helpful advice. It's a book to really chew over and to get you thinking. So I recommend it. It's published by IVP. I don't know who publishes it now. This is an old copy. But it's a really good book and I recommend it. Um, especially if you're a street preacher, evangelist, or a pastor, uh, or a Christian worker. It's really, really good. He also wrote a book called Fundamentalism and the Word of God. And that's a great classic. The Bible's being attacked everywhere now. In America, everywhere. And Fundamentalism and the Word of God by J.I. Packer is a lovely, beautiful, classic book on the defense of the Bible. Get a hold of a copy. It's probably published by IVP or some, some uh, publisher today. Another book that I've been enjoying, I've been re I was reading on holiday, but I'm still reading, is this by J.I. Packer called Among God's Giants. This is absolutely a delightful book. It's published by Kingway. You could get it second hand. I, th I think they still publish it today. Uh, J.I. Packer, Among God's Giants. And it's about Puritan spirituality. This is a delight to read. It really is. The first couple of chapters have blown me away. Talking about how the, the Puritans... The idea that the Puritans were these dead Orthodox people was, was rubbish. They were revivalist people on fire. Just read the life of Richard Baxter, how nearly everybody in his town was going to church. That's how powerful God worked in Kidderminster. Or please, if you're a pastor or an evangelist and you feel discouraged, get hold of this book. It will blow your mind. It's a blessing, a real blessing. J.I. Packer, Among God's Giants. And another little delightful book that everybody, every pastor and evangelist should get hold of is this. I found it today. I, I read it when I was a student at our college, when I was at Nazarene College. They gave me, gave all the students a free copy. And I've just found this copy again. And it's Oswald Chambers, My Utmost for the Highest. Now this is a delight. It, it, this is weighty. It's a weighty devotional book. You read it every day. But there's a lot of experimental Christianity here that you don't hear in Bible teaching today. About dying to self. And uh, about preaching uh, through suffering and difficulties. It's really a spiritual mature book. I found it again. I'm going to start reading it. So Oswald Chambers, my utmost for that highest and it's, it's published by a few publishers today, I think, so you get all of that. So a couple of really good books there to get your teeth into. Uh, don't forget, you know my favourite preacher, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. 
Here's one of the great preachers of, of the 20th century. Go to his Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones Recording Trust. Go through his Roman series or his Ephesian series. Because uh, he was a, a Puritan in the 20th, 20th century. And uh, you'll be really blessed. Just type in Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. I wrote a booklet in for Amazon called 10 Reasons to Read Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. So get hold of that. And I, I read, I've written quite a few booklets on 10 reasons to, uh, uh, 10, yeah, but one of them is, <laughs> I've written quite a few, but the one on Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones on Amazon is 10 reasons to read Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. And he wrote, he, he's got a, he, he's dead now, but he, there's some great, great series of sermons on revival, on preaching, on Book of Romans, on Ephesians. And if you do one thing this year, Please get hold of, of, of Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. But if you do one thing this remainder of this year, read this book, Among God's Giants. It's powerful stuff. It really is a blessing. It, it, if you feel discouraged and you need some encouragement in ministry, read this book. It will bless you. It's a delight. It's a sheer delight. And listen to Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones on Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones Recording Trust. And uh, also, go down to the Banner of Truth, you Google Banner of Truth Trust, Banner of Truth Trust, buy yourself some banner books this year, treat yourself to some banner books, Banner of Truth, every Banner of Truth book is worth its weight in gold, they, go to, the, just Google Banner of Truth Trust, you know, it's run by Ian Merry, and uh, go on the YouTube channel, Banner of Truth YouTube channel, uh, ministers conference or oh, the ministers conference the banner of truth ministers conference weighty weighty spiritual meat and there's a banner of truth you conference banner of truth ministers conference go on their youtube channels and listen to them they'll really bless you uh, but also go to the banner of truth website and buy yourself some banner books get a whole stack because they're dead cheap the paperbacks are really cheap get yourself a stack of puritan paperbacks and have a have a good read this summer. Really get some iron into your soul. Get some iron into your soul, yeah? Okay, God bless you. Love you all. And uh, take care. Uh, when I go to Ghana, Brother Frank is still going to be coming from Holland to the UK. He'll be staying here in this house with his family from time to time. So if you want to link up with uh, Frank as he comes over from Holland and continues the work that I was doing in Manchester... Let me know and I'll pass you his phone number on and you can link up with him around the country to do evangelism with him. He'd like to keep contact with people in the UK. All right, take care. Love you all. And don't forget, please, 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 I need tons of prayer, tons of prayer for Ghana. I really need your prayers. I'm, 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 I'm not a great traveller. I'm not great at travelling, but God's called me to go there. So please pray that God will bless me. Love you all. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for those who've, who've given financially on PayPal. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much on Patreon, uh, who's bought my book. So over 300 books have been sold over the last few months. So thank you for all the people that have bought books. And uh, God bless you. Love you all. And take care. God bless you.